Hi friends, today we are staying at Disney's, one of Disney's, one of Disney's finest five star, fancy, beautiful resorts. And live it up this week, end, Sunday, it's weekend, it's the week beginning. Can't wait to tell you where we're at. You're gonna be like, wow, Veronica, how did you pull this off? They knew I was coming. Thankfully, they have put the baby buggy thing front and center for the, the childless millennial to use. Is there a weight limit on this? Like what age is a child not considered baby buggy worthy? I, do, I don't see that anywhere. Seems to hold me um, just fine. Maybe I could sleep in here. I have never gotten so frustrated in my life as I have just now trying to close up this pack and play. I don't understand, I follow the directions. I'm not even that like dumb of a person, in reality I'm really not. I was pulling in the right spot, I was pulling it up from the middle. I do not understand how that thing works. So I called the front desk and they are going to come and get this thing out of here. I was about to just chuck it off the balcony. Tell everybody, watch your head, here it comes. So the directions say pull this up. I pulled this up. Click here and push down at the same time, nothing's happening. I pulled the bouncy baby stuff out, which was kind of grossing me out because I started to convince myself that somebody's baby juice is on this. So it was like, you know, I was just getting a little frustrated. I don't know if like when they get here, they're going to be like, it was super easy to do. But for now, I could not get it. I'm going to start. start. Okay, we're going to restart this whole video, like starting now. Hi friends, today, I have just told you in the parking lot that I'm staying at a luxury resort. You're gonna be wondering how I pulled this off. So last minute, well, let me show you. Oh dear. This is a five star diamond luxury room. Look at all these pillows. You know what that means. You're gonna do it with me. If we break the bed, this clip will not go in the vlog. We did not break the bed. Where are we staying, you might ask? It's not the Grand Floridian. I know that's what you're guessing. It's not the Polynesian either. Another good guess, but no. This is Walt Disney World's pop Century Resort. It is the only diamond, it is the only, oh my god, oh my god. My shoe just scared the crap out of me. Oh man, that was very weird. I didn't know what I thought that was, but I thought something was like creeping. Wow, that was a genuine reaction to me getting scared by something. Horror Nights got nothing on me, but my shoes, watch out. Now, I gotta admit, Pop Century is definitely one of my favorite resorts of all time. I have stayed at every single Disney resort except for Contemporary. Contemporary is the only resort I've never stayed at. And the one I've stayed at the most out of every single resort I've ever stayed at, Pop Century. For the last 12 years, for the last 30 years, it's been Port Orleans. As my adulthood has come about, that I have tried to avoid and run from. It's always been Pop Century. And it has changed throughout the years. Now we have these on the wall. The faucets have changed. The things have changed. Toilets remained clean. Everything is just very simple. This is the vanity area. You can see the makeup mirror, my lanyard. I had to wash my hands. I threw the soap in there. I was very skeeved out by the pack and play thing. It's kind of basic. I mean, it is what it is. Obviously, we have the best character on this planet above the bed where he should be. The pillows that I have messed up by bouncing my body off of them a few times. Bed is still doing good. It's a platform bed. I mean, you know, what? After we do this room tour, which I kind of just did, there's not much more to show, we are going to get on the Skyliner. I know, I'm always getting on the Skyliner, but we're gonna get on the Skyliner and we're gonna go to Beaches and Cream for dinner. That sounds like fun. We can go to Epcot maybe. 
I want to go in the pool. I did go to Target today and I did get swim shorts. I am not a bathing suit person. So we can go to the pool, hang out, have fun, do our own thing, be to ourselves, enjoy our lives. You know, yada, 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 all the positive motivational things that people say. So, all right, we're gonna leave the phone and go explore some of the grounds. Is this a risk to leave the phone and go do this? Yes. Am I going to worry? Is someone gonna text me and tell me the house is on fire? Yes. I don't have a house, but maybe. We can do it. Let's just go without our phone. We did it in the 90s, we can do it now. We did it in the 2000s, kinda too. <sighs> okay, we're gonna do this. All that we really need to do all that we really need to do is remember we're in 429. Look at that. I didn't even look at that. Look at that. I actually have two of these phones in my life and I don't even know why. Recommended child weight is 877 pounds. 429, 429, 429, 429, 429, 429. So our room is like between like the 70s and the 90s. So right now we are like in the 70s. Are you flirting with, you are flirting with me. I don't like that kind of stuff. No, I'm way taken. No, I, no, thanks anyway. Also good to know, this time of year, cheerleaders are out and they are in the wild and they are free from their parents and they are here. And this isn't even sports. Oh, I wish I was staying with somebody because I would totally play Twister right now. I guess I could play by myself. Okay, let's see. Left foot. Purple. Bam. Okay, let's spin. 429, 429, 429. It's so weird because like not having my phone for like the five seconds I've not had my phone, I feel like a free person, you know? Like, live your life. So, this is apparently an eight track and I always thought they were called A tracks. Learn something new today. I forgot something in my car, which was my camera battery. The bus station's right there, and we are right here. So it's not that, where are we? 429, 429. So I guess you can kind of see what I mean. Here's like the 70s, and then we are in the 90s. So we're super close. And Rubik's Cubes, which I've never understood or been able to beat one before. And there is the married spud. Oh, he looks like he has really bad buck teeth. Okay, phone has been acquired. Let's continue on our tour until we get to the Skyliner. We have to go to the Skyliner to get to Epcot. Obviously, we're coming up upon the 60s. I don't even need to like check where we are, like with the flowers and the peace sign and you know, the hippie stuff. 1971, feels like it was 50 years ago. Walt Disney World opens its first resort in Orlando, Florida, 32821. Oh, I'm just gonna go back and get it. You know what? I know I just walked really far, but I brought it just for this reason. I have never gotten on the Skyliner from here, so it's like something new for the day. This one is like legit over water. Like if we fell down in this capsule and we were in the capsule underwater, only a 20 minute wait from waiting on the ramp that goes down to Caribbean Beach, which is not that horrible. There's Epcot. The Skyliner is currently going as fast as Garden Grill. The Skyliner has stopped. I don't want to do this, but I feel like it's the only thing we can do. Rations, here we come. We made it. At least we made it to Epcot. And now it's 620 and our reservations for seven. So we really don't, that took a long time. We really don't have time to go play at Epcot. So we're gonna head to the beach club. Probably one of the most beautiful places on Disney property is right here. Even across, like this whole area. Would you believe it? You wouldn't if I caught it on camera. If I didn't catch it on camera. Look, no rain. I didn't even know Cape May was open yet. I thought it was a little later than this day. But Cape May is open and ready for shrimp. 
I love going out this way because it reminds me of the Titanic. And Titanic is my second favorite movie, or first. I don't know, Great Gatsby and Titanic are always in a tie. Our table is ready. I'm so excited. They are not dressed in these colors anymore. They are wearing blue and white. I look like a fool. Here it is. Grilled cheese and Tabana bisque soup with a pickle doing its thing that I don't want. Oh, wow. I am telling you right now, this is so good. I cannot even handle it. Now I'm gonna order a kitchen sink just for us. Well, me, but us, like, in private. <laughs> oh my gosh. He goes, here's a really good vlog moment. <laughs> it's... <laughs> He's not doing so good. <laughs> okay, so dinner was so good. That grilled cheese and tomato soup. Oh my gosh, so amazing. Amazing. I wouldn't change a thing besides my outfit. Ugh, but it was so good. So we're gonna take an Uber back so we don't waste any more time like to swim. The line has definitely died down from earlier. It was crazy. It was all the way back to everything top. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. I cannot handle this excitement. Happily ever after is on the big screen. Reach out and find your happy ever after. Look, look. Okay, here's the finale. My goodness. A 70s disco party right here, right now for me and you guys to enjoy. I have been standing here for probably like 20 minutes just watching Bugs Life and I'm like having a hard time leaving and going to the pool but I know it's like what's best for me because like I know I can watch this at home and I cannot swim at home. So it's time for me to leave Bugs Life and just move on with my life. Also I took an Uber here which only was $8 and it took me 8 minutes to get here. So we got here really quick and we changed into like our swimmy clothes which I know this isn't like a bathing suit but it's like a bathing suit to me so we're gonna go swim and here's pedals the groovy funky fun pool bar which um it's fun and groovy and it's funky i am so anxious for swimming like i'm scared nervous anxious a lot of like emotions oh my goodness i am so cold right now it's three feet i'm only five feet Oh my gosh, I'm dying. I am, I am dying. Uh, I'm literally dead right now. There we go. Instead of filming people, I could film blue. The water flower sprayer thing that is like almost to my height. This is not. Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. It's not warm. It's not warm, but it's refreshing, but it's still not like warm. And this camera is not waterproof, so if I dump us in, that's the end of like you and me and like our journey. Just when you think everybody's paying attention to you, they don't care about what you're doing. They're not even looking at you. So just enjoy, enjoy it. It's not that busy, but I am super duper cold right now. Like freezing, why am I freezing? It's like so hot out. Well, it's not right now, but we can like, you know, swim around a little bit more. Bugs Life is still playing. I am freezing. So we are gonna go back to the room because I am so cold right now. I did not plan to be awake right now at all. Um, but I guess I have to go pick up these Mickey waffles because like 10 minutes ago, and I wasn't even like this ready yet. It like went off and like, I'm not even, like I'm going braless. Like this is like gonna be a, you're getting a show. Cause I wasn't prepared. I don't know why it did that. I didn't even select like I was here or anything. And now all of a sudden I got like a notification. It's like, your order is ready. And I was like, it should be ready in three hours. Four hours. <laughs> no big deal. Let's go get them. Also an update, this baby bouncy thing has slept overnight with us. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful day today. I cannot wait to get home and get Gracie from my friend and pet her and kiss her and snuggle her. So here, I'm not lying. It says 10.50 to 11. There's no option to say I'm here. It was made at 7.40. 
So I'm not making up the shenanigans. Enough. Oh, well, I kind of wanted more than one waffle, so I think I ordered something that was probably not the best for someone who wanted Mickey waffles and doesn't even like potatoes. Now this is how you fatty something up. You're not doing it right unless you get the most amount of calories in one bite. If you're gonna take a McChicken, you're gonna put it in between a double cheeseburger and go for it. If you're gonna eat a Mickey waffle, you're gonna put potatoes, bacon, sausage, mayonnaise, eggs, and everything in between your waffle and then go for it. Okay, this is what we call a Mickey waffle surprise. Surprise, there's stuff inside of the waffle. It works. That was good. It's like sweet and then you got like the salty stuff. So it's like, it works. Trust me. It was great, a couple of friends just showed up. I was like, do you wanna share this with me? And they were like, yeah, we would love to. And I'm like, oh, great, thanks. I'll take things that never happened for 400. This coffee was very, very bitter. But Joffrey's hotel coffee is always extremely bitter. The smell of a Disney hotel in the morning is unlike anything in the world. No, at night too, I love the smell. Oh, it just smells so good. Okay, now I'm gonna get ready and take a shower, do my makeup and everything, so the next time you see me. Okay, we are ready for the day. And you know what? Let's do a little bit more of like showing the grounds because I kind of didn't do that yesterday like very well. Even like I didn't show like the lobby, the food court, the gift shop. I keep looking at myself like, right? You didn't. Like in the mirror, I mean. <laughs> and, then, and then I have something else that I'm doing that I'm really excited for that we're doing tonight. Well, I feel like I really did make a new friend and like we did spend the entire night together and no one ever came to get you, which, um, it's been real fun. Bye. Ah, uh, yes. Nothing like the fresh sound of sawing some trees down to wake you up in the morning. Anybody at least he's working, right? Okay, so like our room was right over there where you see that like cell phone antenna. So if you were like staying here, we were kind of really close to the buses. Technically closer than even like the 60s. And 1990, that was the year that I was created and put on this earth to be a gift to all. I'm totally kidding about that. I am not that full of myself. Well, I could not find my mask. So the only way I could go in here is if I asked if they had a spare one and they gave me this Pretty, um, pretty one. But this is like a Disney mask, like, in a way. And we gotta, I gotta show you this room we're in. It's got some great art. Now, usually there would be something playing on this TV. I mean, obviously you wouldn't know that by now, but, um, yeah, we're not playing anything. It's an LG, though. And then, of course, they have, like, all these, like, little cool, like, you know, like, um, I want to call them, like, dioramas, but they're not dioramas. I want to call them, like, um, like, art, but they're, like, yeah, they're, there's something. I mean, this is obviously the 50s, which looked like it was so great. That would be an era that I would want to be in. I would wear dresses everywhere. My husband would work, and I would have the turkey burnt. Yeah, he wouldn't love me very much, but... I don't feel very much for the 60s at all. I have no attachment. I don't really like much from it. No, not really. Of course, I have to like the 70s because that is when the, 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 the thing that makes my life complete was made, you know? The 80s also don't do very much for me. I don't really feel anything for any of this stuff at all. But my grandma had these. And of course, the 90s is when I was a child kid and I had Pokemon cards, too many. My parents couldn't stand how much we loved Pokemon cards. And actually, I don't really recognize any more of this. A Game Boy. I know Barney's Farm Animals, that's a great book. Yeah, but the rest I, I don't really resonate with here. That's probably because in the 90s I was like a child child. Like like I was like toddler and kiddish. So 
Yeah, that's probably why not much from the 90s resonates with me. But if they did have a 2000s one, I probably would know a lot more, like hit clips and um, stuff like that. And this is Everything Pop, which is pretty much everything that you can get at the stores and the resorts. Oh, I always wanted one of these. I mean, I do have the Beetle, but I always wanted one of these too. Oh my gosh, do I need that? Kinda. I don't know what bottles I would open with it, but I, I really like that. I don't know why I said that they have things here that you can get in the parks all, uh, like as well, but I think I lied because I have a Volkswagen and I absolutely love my car. It's like I'm obsessed with my car and my dog. This is so cute. If there was a Beetle on it, I would definitely buy this. I think I've talked about this before, but I really do have like that handwritten bucket list and owning a Dalmatian was on it. I wrote it when I was a teenager and um, owning a Beetle was on it. So I, I literally have been just like going through and checking off everything I wanted to do with my life and I'm almost done. And then this is the food court, which I'm just gonna come up and get an ice water. I mean, they prefer you mobile order, but yesterday I didn't have my phone. So I went to the register and ordered. So you can do that. And of course the arcade is still closed and I have got to get home and go take care of Gracie. I'll we'll go get her, my friends watching her. So hope you enjoyed that quick tour of the lobby. That was pretty bad. And thank you so much, Pop Century. You have been most hospitable. Hospitable. Thank you so much, Pop Century. Yeah. And... Oh, I wonder why you can't smoke this plant. A dog in here? <laughs> Hi! Hi! Ah! Hi, babe! How was it? How was your sleepover? Did you have so much fun? Oh my goodness, hello, I miss you so much. I miss you. Oh my goodness, I miss your butt. Oh yes, I did. Oh yes, I did. <laughs> oh, what are you, oh, oh, what are you doing? What are you doing in that room? What are you doing in there? Huh? Oh, 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 oh what? Where'd you go? Oh! <laughs> I know you hate this floor. Oh! Ready? Ready? <laughs>